Hello friends, Stevie B here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at the Unity trailer synth from Ava. If you're familiar with Ava, you know that they're renowned for creating exceptional and affordable trailer music libraries like Instinct and Eminence, which I've been using for years now. I've been following their work for quite some time. It's been interesting to see their evolution as a company, uh, and I first became aware of them back when they released Prism. So recently they were nice enough to send me a copy of the Unity trailer synth to review on this channel. And let me just say, they're not paying me to do this review. Uh, there's no affiliate links below. What I personally like about the synth is that it's stepped in uh, to fill this you know, musical gap that I've been seeking for some time now. Just really gritty, uh, edgy, and downright like raunchy leads, uh, plucks, and bass tones specifically. This is exactly what I've been looking for as of late, and this synth delivers. You can do a ton of tweaking on the synth itself, but the majority of the presets right out of the box just sound amazing, and that gets me really fired up. My current focus in writing trailer music has been leaning towards uh, like hybrid trailer hip hop tracks. And as much as I love my Arturia 5 collection, I sometimes can't find the right amount of grit uh, from them. So I'm excited to show you how I've been incorporating Unity uh, into my orchestral hip hop tracks. So I'm stoked. Let's just jump into it and cook up something real quick. See what happens. So I'm not gonna do like a full comprehensive walkthrough of the synth right now. You can go to Ava's website for that. But just to give you like a basic rundown of how this thing works is there's like three ADSR shapes uh, that represent the individual sound sources. And you've got three different sound sources that you can choose from. So each of these shapes represents the attack, decay, sustain, and release. The red at the top and at the left on the bottom here are the pre-designed synth sounds. So like foundational tones. The middle in purple is the more textural layer. And the blue layer is like the analog wavetables. Each knob has its own effect settings, uh, which you can just click on to scroll through. This triangle here called identity on the left changes the balance between the three sources. We can assign a few different things to the mod wheel here by just clicking this. We can sign a low pass. We can have the mod wheel blend between sources, or we can just keep it off. The attitude icon on the far right affects the intensity of the patch. And the shape icon here, it opens up a different view where we can adjust the ADSR values with the knobs instead if we want, and we can change our sample selection for each source. And also important to note is that that you can toggle these sources on or off. So we can just hear the bass source. Or if we wanna hear this patch with all three layers on. Let's try assigning a low pass to the mod wheel. So in a nutshell, that's how the synth works. Let's get into some of these presets and write something real quick, see how it sounds. Cool, so I got my tempo set at 150. I'm gonna throw down a, just a really simple beat, kick snare pattern using my big trap kit. Let's do it, here we go. Just gonna fix the velocity and length on those. And let's copy it all the way out to bar nine. And next we're gonna figure out our bass line. So for that, I'm just gonna pull up a blank contact instrument. And let's just import a really gnarly uh, one-shot horn blast from Splice. I'm thinking this one here. Cool. So I just dragged that into my blank contact instrument. Let's open this up. And let's use Time Machine Pro on this drop-down menu. And what that'll do is it'll just even out the length of the sample at any pitch. So I'm just going to put a basic idea down using this horn sample. Here we go. Awesome, I'm gonna quantize that, and I'm also gonna fix the velocity. Cool, so I'll just rename that horn blast. Next thing I'm gonna do here is throw down some strings uh, using my Nucleus Ensemble patch. And don't worry, we'll get back to Unity in just a second. I just wanna get the basic ideas in place. So sometimes the way I like to write string lines is just to kind of come up with a melody on the 16th notes to start. So I'm thinking something like this. So let's record that, here we go. Okay, cool, let's take a look at this MIDI and I'll just collapse this window so we can see it here. I'm gonna quantize this first, fix the velocity, and let's try doing something like this. I'm just gonna copy that here. So I'm gonna get this B flat to hit between each of these notes. Let's copy these all out. 
Yeah, and what does that sound like? Very cool. I'm gonna copy paste this an octave down. Let's copy this pattern over, and I'm just gonna quickly texturize this with a few other string layers. Let's see what that sounds like. Perfect. So just a quick interruption to let you guys know that my hip hop masterclass is on sale throughout this week. Not only that, but the bundle includes the intro to music licensing course, which is being updated throughout this month. So it's a really good time to join the academy. Now the courses can be purchased as standalone products or they can be accessed via the master tier, uh, which includes access to absolutely everything on the Academy platform. All the courses, all the community benefits, uh, personal feedback from myself, those links are in the description below. Go check it out and you can take a sneak peek at the course introductions and uh, curriculum. And if you're interested in learning more about the Academy, uh, go to productionmusicacademy.com. Okay, so now I wanna texturize some of these ideas using Unity, check this out. Okay, so to start, I'm using this 808 patch, which is only using one sound source, grimy and dirty. Uh, it's just gonna cut through the mix like a razor. It sounds like this. So I'm just gonna copy my horn MIDI into this 808 patch, and let's hear what this does to the mix. You get the attack from that horn sample and also a nice added punch from the 808, but it also has that sustain to it too. Let's keep going with this bass. I'm gonna pull up another patch here. So this patch is called Bass Shot and it's basically gonna help uh, those horns kind of punch through a bit. Just really short and aggressive. Let's copy that in here and let's bring it down the mix so it's sitting underneath these horn blasts. Beautiful. And I'm not done messing around with this bass yet. So got another 808 patch here. Let's do another copy paste. I'm gonna bring that down in the mix so it's just living underneath our original 808. Let's see if we can texturize this string layer. So this patch is from the Plux menu and I'm also doing a bit of processing to it. So I've got it going through some sketch cassette and some RC20. Let's copy our strings into this patch and see what's up. So I want that to play nicely with these strings. Let's see what that sounds like in context. I like it. All right, I'm gonna press pause here real quick. I'm gonna do some work to the beats. I'm gonna mess around with a few patches and just throw some ideas at this track, see what I can come up with. So mostly I just did some drum layering. I chopped up a few loops. Uh, I also added this really cool melody to the top of everything. I've hardly done any processing to any of these Unity patches other than the one that we're using to texturize the string layer which again, I'm just sending through the sketch cassette and RC20 to give it a bit more of like a lo-fi feel. Other than that, just using the SSL bus compressor here to glue it all together. And this track just sounds super punchy. So maybe something from this pulse menu. Some of these are pretty cool, but my tempo is really fast. So I'm not sure if maybe some of these would sound better at a lower tempo. Maybe something like this could sound cool when the strings come in. Let's throw that down at bar nine. Okay, I'll bring the volume down on that. We also have some interesting stuff in the clocks menu here. Let's see what we got in the Brahms menu. Ooh, I like that one. Let's punch that in. Maybe throw in some trailer hits there. Sounds 
pretty cool. I really like where this idea is going, so I'm gonna turn this into a full track. Uh, got some work to do, but right now just loving the way that this A section is sounding already. All right, thanks so much for joining me today, my friends. Make sure to give this video a like if you got some value from it. Uh, subscribe to the channel, keep in touch. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and feel free to hit me up with any questions. Check out productionmusicacademy.com and of course, check out that masterclass uh, hip hop bundle that's on sale until uh, Monday, September 11th. All those links are below. And in the meantime, I'm wishing you all happy composing. Catch you later, bye-bye.